everybody, it's Henry over at Mowers and Blowers again. Welcome to another episode of my daily vlog. Vlog is video log, right? Kind of like a diary, but on video. Uh, even if I die, right, uh, all the YouTube videos are still there until somebody takes them down, you know. I don't assume that YouTube uh, would ever ask for a death certificate. So just assume that uh, Henry at Mowers and Blowers no longer uploads videos at all. So, uh, that's one thing if you want to memorialize your entire life, is you become a YouTuber, right? As long as YouTube is going to be in business, which I don't see them going anywhere in the near future, you know, they're owned by Google. You think Google's going to go out of business? I don't think so. So, uh, there's one thing to think about. You want to memorialize your entire life, probably last forever as long as there's the internet, right? Uh... What am I talking about? Right. So, um, looky here. You guys remember this fad maybe five, eight years ago? These hoverboards, even though they never really hovered, it was really a lot of fun to play with. Uh, when they first came out, I, I bought a couple from China. Um, this is the big one. It has big wheels on it. You can actually go on your lawn, you know. A lot of fun. I played with it for like a year with my kids and stuff, but then uh, it's just been sitting in my house, you know. And, still works great, you know, and uh, those batteries exploding and catching fire and burning your house down, it's just a farce. These are from China, you know, and then they said, oh, you should buy the ones from America. They're all from China, okay? They just sell them here in America, duh. But anyway, um, that transmission, the MTD uh, tranny that, you know, I didn't think worked, but it worked. Anyway, so... Uh, one of my uh, followers and uh, Instagram and YouTube followers, Jeff Phillips, one one four or one forty four. Jeff Phillips, one forty four, in Dana, Illinois. He uh, was interested in buying this, but as you saw, I, I couldn't get it to work on one episode, and then the second episode after uh, Don Echo guy told me that it's a push in, push out kind of mechanism, right? And I was like, oh, it does work. Slide, 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 slide. So uh, forward and reverse, I, you know, you can't get the precise clips without the shifter, you know what I'm saying? So it has to be actually on the tractor with the shifter on for you to do the precise clips, right? But if you're just using, you know, force with your, with your hand and the pliers and you're pushing it in, pushing it out, you're just going to be able to kind of just go one in, one out. But you can hear it, click, 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 like that pretty easily. So I think it works, you know? Uh, either way, uh, Jeff is willing to give it a try. Uh, I have pretty good confidence it does work. But uh, so he uh, he bought it last night. He paid about me seventy five dollars, and it's gonna cost me like maybe thirty five, forty dollars to ship it, maybe. Uh, so I'll make like thirty bucks off of it, whatever. Uh, it's all cool, you know. Uh, I I kind of owe him because he was one of my first subscribers to actually send me uh, a gift. He was the one that sent me that uh, uh, spark tester, right? I don't really use that much, I'll be honest with you, because um, it's kind of hard for me to see the spark, especially when I'm. When I'm pulling on one side of a push mower, I can't see it, you know what I mean? I have to, like, put the camera there to show the spark, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, spark testers, you really can't see the spark very well in the daytime, you know? You've got to shut off all the lights or something like that, you know? Anyway, so this is a, a, the biggest box that I could find in my house, you know, without going out and buying a box, you know? And while I didn't think it would fit, the thing actually fits. Can you believe it? Uh, that is, if it's, like, if this part is lower than that part, you know what I mean? It's uh, 21 pounds, so it's a decent weight. I guess if I put it this way, it'll be pretty cool, but it's, like, perfect, you know, when you go from, when you go diagonal corner to corner, right? And then I've got this uh, insulation from the, you know, from the hoverboard itself. And look at that, there's a hole here, so I could actually, like, Put the pulley in the hole. That's not cool. That's kind of cool. All right, so that'll hold it pretty well. And I'll just throw like newspaper and cardboard in there, insulate it, um, package it up, and maybe I'll use USPS or maybe I'll use uh, you know UPS, whichever is cheaper. You know. Um, you know, I really don't want to say this, but I'll say it anyway. You know, if you guys send stuff, right? Um, you could try media mail, even though media mail is really restricted to just like 
you know, uh, documents, posters, um, media, you know, like DVDs, CDs, that kind of thing. It's really cheap. It takes like 10 days, but, you know, it's really cheap, you know. And you could put like as much weight as you want to because they're expecting you to, you know, put like books in there, you know, like a big box of books. That's really cheap. But um, my mailman tells me that they don't really check. You know what I mean? They don't put it through an x-ray machine or anything, so they don't know what's in the box. So you can kind of just like lie and say it's media mail when it's not, you know. But it does take 10 days, and uh, I even asked uh, Jeff, do you want me to do media mail? It's cheaper, or do you want priority, you know? And uh, he wanted to give me $75, so I'm like, uh, okay, you got it. Anyway, so I'm going to throw some crap in here. Uh, in my videos, right, uh, just basically what I do, right, buy a lot of parts, get a lot of parts, sell a lot of parts. When I get the parts, it's usually packed with all some kind of packing material, right? That's right. I never throw anything away. I don't even throw a packing material away because I know that I'm going to need this stuff eventually when I send stuff, right? So i I got to be honest with you. I've never sent a transmission before. This is the first time. Um, this might be one of the first times I'm sending something so big and heavy, too, you know? So it's kind of fun, you know? It's like uh, a reverse unboxing, you know? It's like a reverse Christmas instead of, you know... I could be like a, a Santa elf, you know? I'm helping, you know? I'm packing stuff to send out. So, you know, you got these bubble things, right? You got a lot of this stuff here. Look, I, I ordered like a motor or something like that. Uh, I don't remember what it was. It might have been a starter. It was, in a, uh, it was a car starter. It was a starter for one of my cars, whatever. And so they actually make these uh, little things there. They, they inject foam into these bags so that it fits over exactly molded into the part. Very cool. So I, I thought that was cool. I saved it so I knew I would need it someday, you know. I'm going to try and stuff all this stuff in there nicely. For Jeff Phillips, 144 of Dana, Illinois. I don't know, man. I think that's pretty good, you know? Pretty solid. Kind of fun. message from Jeff and he goes, you know Henry, never mind, I don't really want it. I'm just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> you wouldn't do that to me. Yeah, you wouldn't do that to me. As you saw, I was definitely not chintzy with the tape because you know what? It's very heavy on the inside. And you know how those guys over at the, you know, those big three guys, USPS, UPS, FedEx. <laughs> Launching packages all over the place, you know? Even though 21 pounds isn't really that heavy, I mean, I've shipped heavier things, but just smaller, you know, like flywheels and stuff. That's pretty damn heavy, you know what I mean? But this is insulated pretty well, and I wanted to make sure that uh, the thing was completely encased in, in a packing tape, you know what I mean? Uh, the packing tape is from Uline. They usually... Uh, they usually hold up pretty well. Not as good as the really thick gauge uh, clear, you know, it's almost like plastic, you know what I mean? Uh, and obviously not as strong as duct tape, but duct tape is expensive if you want to do this, you know what I mean? Uh, so you know what? Comes with a little handle here. It's all not, it's not that heavy. And I went to do the precise, me precise measurements. I first estimated it by shipping it from New, New York to New Jersey in that zone, you know? And it came out to like $28. So that wasn't too bad, and that's what I told Jeff. But I just went and measured again. Uh, not measured, but plugged in his actual address in uh, Dana, Illinois. Man, it was like $47 with uh, USPS, you know. So uh, I think I'm going to ship it UPS because I think it ends up to be $32. So I'm spending $32 on shipping this over to uh, Dana, Illinois. But it's all good because he gave me $75. I'm, I'm cool with $40, bucks, whatever. It's fine, you know. 
Um, I was going to sell it locally here for 30 or 40 bucks anyway, you know. But, uh, yeah, all right, so, Jeff, it's headed on over to you, boy. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to go bring this to UPS later, and uh, it should be on its way. Just taking care of some overspray here, covering up the yellow, and painting this part black. Long as it, the, the pain in the butt about painting is the masking. That's what, that's what takes a long time, you know? Fortunately, this quick color, it's mostly air, so it really works well with, without really masking too much, because it won't really cover all that much, you know? You gotta do a lot of coats just to get it to where you want it, you know? Which sometimes it works well, you know? Like you can see, I'm, I'm going back and forth on one line just to cover it up, you know? So um, it doesn't really coat very well, but um, if it's already a black background, it covers it up very well, especially if you're a flipper. Just wanna get things done quickly and uh, you know, as long as it looks pretty presentable, most people are happy with it. See what I'm saying? I'm not even going to cover this up because it's not even going to overspray onto anything else. It's kind of like that. It reminds me of that stuff that uh, they used to advertise where you paint your head. If you're like a balding guy, you just paint your head. <laughs> it kind of works like that, you know? That looks pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I could lie, but I'm not going to. Got a little bit of yellow overspray on this bracket here, so I'm just going to cover up the yellow part and go over it. Go over it with this. See? See how much it takes just to cover it up? A lot. It's mostly air. You don't even have to do that sweeping motion, you know, like that, because it's not going to cover it up. So you can just do it this way. This is good. And you can do it close up too. It won't drip. <laughs> There's not enough painted at the drip. So, you know, 99, 98 cents. I mean, seriously. Awesome. It's a dollar. I mean, what can you buy in America for a dollar? It's worthwhile, you know? That's pretty good. Very good. Coolidge. Uh -huh. This was definitely painted red at one time because I see some red over here. Ninety eight cents. Quick color. Black. They only come in black and white at your local Home Depot. So as you know before, I tried to use a Gorilla Tape to uh, seal up these cracks there, right? But um, because I had put ATF on it to make it shine, it was kind of greasy. So I'm going to use some uh, brake cleaner from my friends at Lucas Oil. Spray some over here and just get the greasiness off. And then uh, once it dries, I'm gonna give um, I'm gonna give that gorilla tape a try again, so I can finally seal up these cracks over here. You know, so you can't have a pretty decent looking tractor now. Cracks in the seat, you know. Albeit these, the seat is pretty good. I mean, it's a high back. You know, just a couple of cracks is all, but uh, it's a decent seat. You know very good seat actually so um, I feel pretty good about it after all I mean I had a little bit of buyer's remorse when I bought this for forty dollars you guys know I don't pay for anything I really don't want to but I thought it was a pretty good deal at the time um, you know looking back at it I guess it's a decent deal anyway you know for a pretty decent tractor good seat good hood you know so you know I just it was only this this crack and this crack really small little thing here that's not too much to worry about just one crack here and one crack here try it 
try to try to get some of that gorilla tape to work on this this time. So I've got that gorilla tape on there. It looks pretty good. Um, the Nick from Metford told me to use a blowtorch and kind of heat it up a little bit, and it will stick better. I don't want to burn the seat, so it's just a slight heat coating. Almost like shrink wrapping it or in melting the, you know, warming up the adhesive so it sticks better. I don't know, man. I'll try it, but uh, you kind of look at the, you can kind of see the heat, how it's, how it's affecting tape, you know. Actually, that that's pretty cool. You just gotta be careful, that's all. I will admit, I never did this before. That seems to be pretty cool. Good tip, Nick. Nick from Medford. Doc Builder 1556 on Instagram. Check him out. Follow him. Tell him Henry sent you. Henry or Hank. By the way, just for shits and giggles, I started a YouTube channel for Hank, the Asian Redneck. I have 13 subscribers right now. Woohoo! Uh, it's basically, it's never going to be monetized. So, um, I actually, yesterday's video with Marty the Robot, because I went to Home Depot, right? Home Depot plays a lot of music on their loudspeaker, you know, the PA system, whatever. And uh, they were playing a Van Morrison song in the background. And uh, Van Morrison is a Warner Brothers music artist, you know, so that's the copyright. So they blocked my video from being uploaded. So I had to go, I had to go back into my editing and take out the part where I tour Home Depot for snow blowers and lawnmowers and weed whackers and blowers and chainsaws, all that stuff, right? I had to take that part out. Otherwise, I couldn't I couldn't upload my video yesterday about Marty the Robot. So Home Depot's a pain in the ass like that. So I just took that part because I already made it. I didn't want to waste it and just delete it. So I put it on Hank the Asian Rednecks channel. So if you guys have a chance, just for shits and giggles, go check it out. Subscribe. Maybe I'll get more than 13 subscribers to Hank the Asian Redneck. Just search uh, Hank Asian Redneck. You'll find him. If you see a couple of videos on there, so I guess that, that's where I'm gonna put my uh, content that I'm not allowed to show on uh, my Mowers and Blowers channel. So you know what? That looks pretty good, man. Uh, thanks for the tip, Nick. Uh, blow torching Gorilla Tape on your uh, seats to make it stick better in the winter. That's pretty cool. I need to get one of those push button things, you know, when you click it, and because this one I still need to flint it, you know. So that looks pretty good. I know you guys can't see too well because the thing about videotaping uh, or, you know, videography, right? Because the inside of the garage is so dark and the outside is so bright, when the camera's pointed towards the brightness, you can't see what's here. So if this was flipped the other way around, it'd be really clear, unless I go really close. Okay, so I got it all worked out put the control panel for the shifter back on. Also, it had an LT-1000 handle, right? So I knew that didn't belong there because it pulled right off. I had an old MTD one so that fits on there really nicely. So guess what, fellas? I'm going to drive this out of the garage now. That's right, here at Mowers and Blowers, you push them into the garage with no engine, and they come out driving.
I did forget one thing. This doesn't have a choke, so I'm going to remove the choke handle in case I need it for a future tractor. This pin comes off the bottom like that. Let's get a pair of pliers. And this thing should just pop out. Now you've got to grip it. Never any, never easy. It's very difficult to get out. Just got to weasel it out. Weasel. Yeah, perfectly good choke cable that I might need for some future tractor. sale just sell every one of these things I need to bring this uh, Poulon Pro back into the garage for a little bit of a black paint job here I need to bring this one eventually into the garage and uh, repaint that hood it looks terrible and try to fix that hole there this one's ready to go honestly I didn't think that um, it was really worth it to go through all that trouble you know to paint it I mean, it looks better, but it still doesn't look that great, you know. But it's nice, though. Maybe I'll get 500 for it. I'll be happy with that. This one now runs because I did a gravity feed fuel tank. Rodham's Prime. Head scratcher. Engine. 14 episode LT1000. Next move, I'm going to be taking that uh, Murray apart. It's going to be a teardown because uh, honestly, there's no engine, there's no hood, there's no seat, and most importantly, there's no deck. If there's no deck, who's buying it? Except a bunch of silly kids wanting to make it a mud mower. And here in Long Island, they don't really do that that much. I don't think they have any, there's not any keyways in, in the, uh, there's no keys in the keyways. It's just three wheel. <coughs> got wheels, got a hood with a light wiring harness, front end. Got a good transmission, I think. Steering wheel, high adjustment levers, foot pads, seat bracket height, shifter knobs, shifter. 
Don't scratch the car, Henry. Deck hangers, rods, brake rod, pulleys, springs. Some nut on eBay will want them. That's right. Somebody will want this Murray Select. Ooh. An R clip. My YouTube channel filled with non-stop projects. You push them into the garage, they come out running. It may take me a long time, but I get them all for free. Well, actually, that one I paid 40. That's okay. So my next episode will be tearing down this Murray Select uh, lawn tractor that I got from uh, Brian locally here in Huntington, who got it from Jason Pate of Pate's Performance. It was his dad's. Uh, it actually has a um, 13 horsepower flathead engine in here. The valve guides are worn or missing, and they move laterally. So my friend Five Speed Ash over in Lindenhurst, he says he has a uh, good uh, block with the valves intact. So all I need to do is just take this one apart, put the good ones onto that block, and maybe I'll have another engine. Um, I could put that engine on that uh, red yard machines in the back, but it doesn't have a seat, doesn't have a deck. It may have an engine, but as far as I know, everything else works on that thing, you know? So that might be an option. But it'll take me all day to take this apart completely. And uh, trust me, when I take it apart, I'm really, I'm taking everything apart. You know, you guys have seen my teardown videos of lawn tractors. I mean, I go underneath and take out everything. Everything that I could sell, you know, if it's really too big or too heavy and not really in demand, I'm not going to bother, you know what I mean? But uh, some good parts out of here, and not to mention the fact, I got to get it out of my yard, you know what I mean? As you can see in my backyard, there's really no place to park anything back there anymore without it looking like Sanford and Son. Not that that's bad, but uh, thanks a lot for following me along on today's episode. Um, we basically got to drive that uh, MTD Cub Cadet uh, Franken mower out of here. Running, driving, mowing, lights work, looks great. 500 bucks, maybe, in the spring. Maybe more. Who knows? Depends on how good of a salesman I am, right? I'll see you guys next time! On Mowers and Blowers. Mailbag. I haven't had a mailbag in a while. This is from uh, Dr. Pepper. I'll tell you why I have something from Dr. Pepper. So uh, I like Dr. Pepper a lot. I'm a Diet Coke kind of guy, but then I went to Coke Zero. But then I've always known that Dr. Pepper always tasted great, but I wasn't sure about their diet. So I tried the diet. I think I think Diet Dr. Pepper is the best drink in the world. On a, on a nice hot day, an ice cold can of Diet Dr. Pepper. Anyway, so my wife saw this uh, deal uh, for three sleeves. I think there's 12 in one sleeve, right? And it had an advertisement on there when she brought it home. It said, uh, if you buy three sleeves, get a free Fanville prize package for free. That's right, free. So I sent it in. I mean, you do it online. It's so easy. You sent me this completely free. Fansville. Is it a magnet? I don't even know. I don't even know. <laughs> That's my Dr. Pepper hand. free okay I know what are you gonna do with it oh there we go huh barbecuing for the summer koozie 
I love swag, so I had to do it, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm probably never going to use it, but it's free, and I love swag. Uh, the kids like this. They're, you know, drawstring backpacks, you know what I'm saying? You see the kids with them, you know, when they go out with their friends, walk around town, whatever. They don't want to carry all too much. They don't want to wear a fanny pack because it's... This is kind of gay too. Whatever. It's canvas. That's it. But, uh, you know, it's cool. And it's free. Hey guys, support my channel. Buy a sticker. Also, follow me on Instagram at Mowers Blowers. Check out my website, MowersBlowers.com. Hey guys, Boba and I want to thank you for all the support of mowers and blowers. If you'd like, make a short video clip like these, and I'll put it as an outro in my future videos. Hey y'all, it's Kylie here, and we'll see you next time on Mowers and Blowers.